Hi guys, James Markey here, Head of Sales for TZ Dental, and we've got the new version 2020.06 here, so lots of new stuff to show you. On your teacher PC, you have this new program for desktop configuration, and it allows you to actually set up the classroom, the simulators yourself if you wanted to, or to later change the parameters. So here, for instance, I can change it from English to Spanish, and then I click confirm at the bottom right and then apply at the top right. You need to see the success message for this to commit the changes. And I'm just going to change them back to English uh, for the purposes of this tutorial. So now I'm going to launch up Vertizy Dental, uh, which here is running on Windows, but on your simulators, all the new ones are running off Linux. So once you're into the simulation, top left you see the ribbon and that shows you the status of the database, the user profile, the data and the cache. If you ever have a problem, just click it and then it'll tell you what's happening. So here the cache is disabled, but I did that on purpose, so that's okay. So the default login still works, 0000. You have your navigation. And as before, all our exercises in familiarization, but this time you have some new exercises under the editor tag. So these allow you to open them in Verti's editor and see how we create the exercises. And they'll either be within each of the topics, or they might be in the international category at the end, depending on the version you got, uh, because this will be used for sharing exercises around the different universities. So we also have endontics, we've now got the virtual patient exercise added as well. And in prostodontics, you've got a whole selection of virtual patients. Implantology, we've still got the implantology planning module, and I'll show you that in a moment. So if we load up an exercise, the most commonly used one for new students is the CDE, that's caries, dentine and enamel. So this one's used to teach students the difference in density. And you'll see here we have the haptic player top right. So this can be accessed by an admin or a teacher in the settings. And you have your haptic player button here. And that allows you to record the student's work so that you can actually review the technique that they're doing as well as the result. So I'm going to hit record because I've got my device connected. And here at the bottom, we have the navigation for the tools. You'll see there's a slightly new order, which was based on the feedback from the universities, but all your tools are still there. Slow speed, you can filter them by the brand, and the fast speed. So if we go ahead and choose one of these tools, now you'll be able to see, hopefully, that we've brought up the camera on the haptics. There we go, and then when I touch the block, I can't go any further. But my hand's up in the air, so I need to do the calibration. Bottom left for the target, click the block and press next, or use the foot pedal. Get a good finger rest, and then click apply, or again, click the foot pedal. So I'm just going to zoom in slightly so we can see what's happening. And then here, I can go ahead and drill through these blocks. So obviously you're fairly used to these exercises already, but what I really want to show you is some new features at the end once we've finished the exercise, which are really exciting. There we go. So the second tab on navigation, you've got your lesson notes. Don't forget you can add a different picture if you want to for each page. The second one allows you to hide the target, so you see the blocks just for what they are. And the third one highlights the depth. Now this is really useful if you're using the probe, because you can actually go back in to the work that you've done and get the depth. So they're 1.2 millimeters. Another way to do this is through the real-time evaluation. So you can bring this up and you can actually get a measurement here as well. So if we bring that down to this one here, we can zoom in and then you can get the depth as well. There we go. 
So you also see with our evaluation thresholds, you now have the threshold on the left next to the, the title of what it is. So the target progress, how much of it we've removed, is set at 70% for this exercise, and that'd go green once we're above that threshold. So in the settings, you already saw the haptic player button that's been added, and in the next update, we're just tweaking some of the UX. So now at the top right, you've got your restart button still, you've got your finish, save, and exit. So I'm gonna finish this exercise, and instead of going back to the navigation, we now have the 3D model and some self-assessment questions so the students can start to grade some of their own work. And the other new module is self-reflection. It's coming in here. We have an interactive panel that allows you to really have a sort of thought bubble process. So the flatness of the floor and the relative smoothness of my preparation uh, requires improvement. Why? because I didn't maintain control of the handpiece or because I didn't establish a stable finger rest. So I'll click the top one and you can either double click the three dots or touch and drag or click and drag. And then you get the little feedback, ensure the grip of your handpiece is appropriate and your body is in a comfortable, sustainable position. So this helps create that learning diary for the students and then we finish and like normal, it saves all of that progress on the server for access with Vertizy Assistant. So if I come out of here, I just wanna quickly show you implantology and remind you of the workflow process on this. So once we've loaded up the exercise, we get a choice to create our own planning or use the expert planning. So the expert planning is the teacher's one. So if I go create planning, when I click that, I load up the planning module and I can import the expert curve. So this is what's used for comparison. Then I can click uh, to position myself on the axial view now and then implants. I can choose an implant from the library, choose the tooth number. So this I believe was 36, click OK and it places that across the intersection. Then taking the middle of the gizmo, it goes red, and you can just click and drag that across. The top one will allow you to rotate, and if you bring that out of the jaw, then you can see the 3D representation. So I'll just turn that a slight little bit more, and then I'll pop that in. Once we're done, we can click save, and then we can load our planning. We now get the comparison between our planning and the teacher's planning. And we can see it, it's not bad. I've used the same axial slice number. I've chosen the same implant. I got the tooth number right, uh, but the positioning's a little bit off. So I can validate that. And then when we validate, we're going through to the exercise. So I'll hide the haptic player for now. And on the second tab this time, we have a few more helps. So you see the point of impact, depending where I place the implant, and the axe coming off it. And then you can go ahead and do your drill. So I'll choose a slow speed bird to start off with. I have to do my calibration again. So I just click that, get in contact, get a position, and then I'm ready to go. So I've just created my little marker for me, and then I'm gonna move across and use some of these implant drills. There we go, so that makes it slightly easier for me to push down. And I'm gonna jump ahead and choose some of the larger implant drills just to speed this up for us. There we go. And then once more, I'll do it on the final one. There we go. So not great, but great for our purposes. So here we've got the visual gauge on the last of the helps. And that just helps you visualize the angle of the drill and check 
the positioning and everything else. Fab. So there's lots of improvements now on Implantology and it also follows the same modules as before. We finish and we have our self-assessment and we have our self-reflection. And when I'm done with that, everything's ready in Vertizy Assistant uh, to check out all the results and leave comments for my teacher. So that's everything to show you this time. Thank you for watching and I look forward to hearing from you, seeing what you create and hearing your feedback. Thank you and bye bye.